Now you want to go inside, huh? Because the streets ain't for you, right? Right? Yeah. So next time when I'm chasing you with a damn shovel telling you to come inside, you come inside. How did you enjoy that, huh? Eight and a half hours outside. Damn, playing with me. Uh-huh. Yep, you want to be all nice now, right? Hmm. 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 Yeah. Uh-huh. You're going to be the first one in, right? When I... So, story time. My cat, I'd be laying her out in the backyard to go play or whatever. Get some, you know, sunshine or cold air, whatever you want to call it, right? And I call her and she'll come back inside the house. Lately, she's been acting and she don't be coming inside the house when I be calling her. So, I have to be going out there shaking a bag of treats and everything to get her to come inside. Now, the bag of treats ain't even working to get her inside. So, sometimes I really got to, like, you know... Stop my foot. Sometimes I gotta put my car in drive, then reverse, then drive, then reverse to get her to come back inside. But usually every morning, I be letting her out because she sits right there near the door, and then she'll like roam around. And I turn my car on, and then she just runs inside, and I shut the door and go to work. Listen, today she didn't want to go inside. She didn't get scared of the engine turning on. So I was like, ah, oh, all right, I gotta get out and uh, chase this cat. So I go. So, today, she sat right next to the door, and she was being real polite or whatever, just looking up at the doorknob or whatever. I said, oh, you want to go outside? Oh, she's going outside. So, I let her go outside, and I kind of shut the door because it's brick as hell in the morning. This weather is coming quick. Anyways, so, then, I freaking turn on the car. She didn't get scared to come inside, and I'm like, damn, Luda, Luda, Lula. So, I go out. I grab her bag, of, I go back inside, I grab her bag of treats, and I go shake it outside to see if she's going to come or whatever. I don't see her, I don't see her, then I see her, and she's under this car. So I take some treats in my hand, and I got the treat bag in my hand, and I give her some, and she's eating it, and I'm trying to, like, push her out, because she's mad smart. You know what I'm trying to get her inside. So, right, so then I put the, I got her out far enough so I could, like, grab her by the neck, because, you know, like, how cats be grabbing each other by the necks, like, the way that it doesn't hurt them. You know, like, lions, lion king, whatever. So, yeah, so then... I freaking put the bag down. As soon as I put the bag down, girl, as soon as I put the bag down, this cat dips under the car, then dips under another car. And I was like, you know what? I was like, look at the time. And I was like, yeah, I ain't got time for this. So you know what I seen? I seen a snow shovel. So you know what I did? I grabbed the shovel. And I started chasing her with it. Sure did. <laughs> I probably look so dumb in the morning. But I was like, I had the shovel in my hand. I was like, Kush. and you know, I was pushing her towards the house. But she did a whole spin and went behind, like, the other way, away from the house. And I was like, hold the hell up. Because you get too comfortable with this backyard. You're running that way instead of running inside the house? No. So then I started chasing her the other way <laughs> with the bag of treats in my hands. And I'm like, <laughs> freaking doing the damn shovel, like, chasing her with the damn shovel. And then she's like, wow. And I was like, <laughs> She wasn't getting his eye, so I had to chase her again. I would freaking jump behind. Her. So I jumped on a car or whatever, or like on top, like slid across the hood or whatever. And I was like, damn, this car's bad, dusty. My pants gonna be all dusted up in the back. Oh, sis. How I, how I look though. I, I got a run a cop uniform on, chasing a cat with a shovel in the morning, <laughs> with a bag of treats in my hand. Mmm. So point is, I get her near my car, which is near the door of the house. So I was like, yes. And then she dipped, like disappeared. I don't know where the hell she went. I couldn't find her. So you know what I did? I was like, Luna, if you don't get inside right now, I'm shutting the door and you're staying out here. Where the cat at? Nowhere to be found. So I was like, I, right. I said, like, you want to play games with me? You want to be for the streets? You want to be for the streets? I will leave you out on the streets so you can learn. So I shut the door of the house. I got in my car. I even went front and back one more time. So yeah, front and back again to see if she gonna get scared and run towards the door. I don't see no cat. And I was like, you know what? I was like, freak you then for real. I'm leaving you outside. And I went to work. And I was like, freak that damn cat. And my whole, like, I'm driving down the highway. I'm like, that damn cat about to make me damn freaking late. Now I got to speed up with this damn tractor trailer all in front of me. I was hated. And then I get to work, and I'm like, damn, but what if she gets jumped by the other cats outside? Because she's mad rude. Like, 
antisocial cat. When she sees another cat, it's war for her. She was chasing this little kitten. I thought the kitten was gonna, I thought she was gonna be friends with it. I was like, oh my god, kittens. There's two of them, and they have the same like stripes as her. And I was like, oh my god, they're gonna be best friends. Yeah, right. I'm inside my house chilling. You know, I let her go out, I let the door open or whatever. All I hear is, and I was like, oh, hell no. So I go outside, and I'm like, Luna. And I was like, Luna, Luna. I was like, absolutely not. And I'm walking over there with my finger like this. I was like, no, stop it, stop it. And she stops and she's looking at me. She's like, and then the other cat, she backed up the poor little kitten into the fence. And the cat's like, like looking all scared, like about to poop itself. And I was like, hell no. So I started walking over there. And I thought at this time, I only knew that there was only one kitten. I didn't know there was two. So one kitten's getting chased. And then when Luna looks at me, the other kitten looks at me, looks at Luna and dips, right? And then I'm like, what the hell? And I turn, I'm like, what the hell is that behind? I was like, there's another cat. I was like, there's a cat. Oh, they're twins. There's two kittens. And I was like, damn, the other cat's just like, just chilling there. It's like. And then it was just like, and I was like, I was like, you poor little kittens. So I started feeding them. One of them's really nice, the one that didn't get scared by Luna. And um, and the other one is like completely terrified of me and Luna, but I've been putting it food and be eating and it's like getting nicer to me, but I haven't seen them in like four days now. That's not good. Anyways, so yeah, so um, yeah. Point is, antisocial. She wants to fight every cat, and she would have got jumped by two of them if it kept going on. Is what I was thinking. And now, when I seen the mom cat of the kittens, and I was like, "Yo, that's a big head. That's a big black head." And I was like, "Ooh, she looks like she's ready to throw hands for her babies." So I was thinking, I was like, "Damn, she about to get jumped." And I was like, "I hope she's smart enough to stay in the tarp." behind the house because that's the only thing close to a house and da -da -da -da. and I'm calling Razik I'm texting him I'm like can you go check if Luna is outside da -da -da. um that was at like eight o'clock in the morning he responds at like 2 30 about a clock out or whatever and he was like yeah I called her she didn't come and I was like oh great so then I was like damn what if she's dead? She wouldn't run into traffic, but if she did, she wouldn't know what to do when she ran into traffic because she never ran into traffic. So I was like, damn, she's dead? I was like, she can't be dead. And I was like, damn, where am I going to find her? Well, all these woods behind the damn house. How the hell am I going to find my damn cat? How? So I park my car and I get out and I'm like, Luna, Luna, Luna. And then I start walking to the door and then I hear, and I was like, Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. You smart for staying in the tarp, but you dumb for not coming inside when I called you in the morning. Yeah. She came inside real hungry, jumped right in before I could even get the door open, literally. And you know what she just did? She just garnished her um hard food with a bunch of throw up because she ate it so fast because she was so damn hungry for being outside for but yeah, this cat was so damn hungry for being outside for so damn long in the cold that she came and ate her food like so quick that she just threw up right on top of it. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there because you know why? So she can see that she is ungrateful. She needs to be grateful that I be putting food in for her, be putting water, I be taking up her damn douche. And throwing it in the damn trash. And then now, I hope she knows when she sees me feeding the other cats and she want to go run over there and try to <laughs> at them. Think. I be telling her, girl, you need to be nice to these cats because these cats don't got it good like you. You live in luxury. They not. Which is why I'm feeding them. So I think now she learned her lesson. So yeah, that's the story. Another reason why I'm leaving her damn throw up garnished on top of her unthrown up food is because she can, so she can see, she can see that sometimes when you live out in the street and you don't know if you're going to see another meal and you threw up your own meal, you just might have to eat it up again later. She just might have to eat that up later. Lessons of the streets. 
Look at this cat. Look at them dirty paws. You ain't sleeping on my bed tonight, baby. I'm gonna tell you a lie right now. Hmm. This is who I'm talking about. This very cat right here. Love you. My little kitty. My little kitty.